um, here today um, in my old area, my old primary school Turnham, to uh, open the Rocky and Wrighty Arena, which I'm very, very proud of. We're on it! So all of this what's happening comes down to the fact that because David Rollcastle, I'm just pleased to be able to be in a position where I could keep his name alive because he was great. And everybody who speaks about him speaks about him because he was so great. This school means everything to me. So for us to be able to get this pitch in here, for these kids to have a safe place to play, all I would say to, again, to EAFC, to the Football Foundation, thank you very much. My first impressions of seeing the pitch was I was just blown away, really, just seeing a legacy of um, Dave and Wrighty in the community that we grow up. It just made me feel quite emotional, quite proud. This would have meant everything to David. He was a very loving man, he was a very passionate man, and he was always putting people before himself. It's such an amazing story about how Ian and David grew up together, and to have a space where the two of them learn and play together to be celebrated now, and a legacy, particularly for David's family to see after his sad passing, I think it's a wonderful thing. So I'm very local to the school. The headmaster was aware of other art I've done in the area, and so they asked me to get involved. I'm really, really pleased with how it came out. Um, it's exactly as we sort of planned it and designed it, and it was lovely to have been asked to do something so local and uh, hopefully inspire young children to play football here. We're always talking to our students about David, about Ian. I think it's so important that they've got role models that you know they can see they're like they are. They're from the estate, they're from the area. So they've got something to aspire to, so they can see and think, well, if these guys can do it, we can do it, you know? And they can't wait to get on here. The pictures we play on, they all have, like, bumps, and whereas these ones are just flat. I like how it's in the area. It's quite close. It's easy to get to. Also, meeting a local hero, that was, that was really cool. Yeah. It's really nice. I like how it's brought the community together as well. This is the creme de la creme. This is a, an amazing pitch that will be here for years to come. A place where you can come regardless of weather, and it means that there's a hub for the kids to come to. It's widely accessible, you know, safe, it's enclosed, it's got everything that I think every kid could dream about. Girls in particular are growing up that provided exactly the same opportunity as the boys. It's going to kind of elevate our offer to the next level, so we can use it for before school sessions, and at our break times and lunch we can do female specific football. The pitch is fantastic, you know, we'll use the pitch five nights a week and on a Saturday and a Sunday. And the facilities are great, so we've got an all weather pitch which is floodlit, meaning that a lot of the kids, especially from mini soccer, can get to play an extra night. Facilities like this for the community are, are, are gold dust. Any time that's available in this space we'll be using to, to facilitate getting the community here, getting children out, playing football and engaging in, in physical activity. There are huge benefits to getting involved in all kinds of sport and physical activity and football in particular so it can improve your physical health, also your mental health. We know that sport and football are particularly important for bringing together communities and uniting people uh, and of course it drives huge economic growth as well and the collaborative approach between the government, the Premier League and the FA is absolutely essential. So the Premier League, the FA and the government, they all fund the Football Foundation and their main driving objective is transforming individual lives and communities. And we're investing over £100 million a year into great artificial pitches, improving grass pitches, which means if a child is growing up, they need and deserve a great place to play with their friends, just like this, in every community. In a city like this one, uh, we just haven't got enough places to play. We need safe places where young people can come enjoy sport and get into it for the first time and hopefully if we can get as many young people in the local area playing they'll go on to have a lifelong love of sport and participate in whole, whole manner of different things and hopefully some of them will go on to be the next uh, David Roe Castle and Ian Wright as well. Our vision for EA Sports FC is to grow the love of football and we have a unique opportunity through the FC Futures programme to do that by inspiring the next generation of young footballers. And we're amazingly privileged to be here today at Turnham Academy to see that coming to life. I can't explain how important it is to have something like this and this is why I'm so pleased that it's finally happened.